Good evening. It's February 7th, 2024, and it's the continuation theme of Moses, or Exodus, the chapter, the book of Exodus. Um, I just want to point out, you can check out my Instagram post. I usually do a post after I read it to learn more about things that I feel are very intriguing after reading the chapter. Um, so, I read Exodus 1 two days ago, and I just wanted to give a, an idea of what where Egypt was from the ancient map-wise and the Hebrew celebration of per, per um, hopefully I'm pr pronouncing it right, per shot, um, I believe, yeah, and uh, a little more about Median. And you know that Median was a child of Keturah and Moses. Anyways, feel free to check that out. And Exodus 2, which I did yesterday, Moses. I did a feature on that a while ago on my Facebook group called Good News Adoption. Did you know that Moses was adopted? So um, then I just did a little more research on stuff about like this parallelism of the basket that Moses, baby Moses was in to the Ark of Noah. You know, the Bible is so symbolic. Anyways, uh, feel free to check out that, and I'll be reading from Exodus chapter 3, and I'll do a post similar to what I find might be intriguing. If there's something that you find interesting on um, one of the chapters I read, or the Bible I read, Feel free to share it below because we can all learn from each other. This is a, instead of a small group Bible study, this is a internet Bible study. Um, also, today's, if you're, if you're wondering what's the national or international day, these are the ones that are going on today. Lord, we pray for all the jacks out there. May Jack all the jacks will come to a growing personal relationship with your son Jesus Christ. Amen. Alright. Let us begin. Exodus chapter 3. Moses and the burning bush. Oh, this is the favorite part. If you watch the movie Ten Commandments. If you haven't, try to watch the original version. It's the one with Charlton Heston. I know they have new versions, but um, it's nice to see the original. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, a priest of Midian. And he fled, or he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight. Why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard from crying out because of their slave drivers. Now I'm concerned about their suffering. So I've come down to rescue them from the land of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, a home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I've seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. 
When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, What is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. Go, assemble the elders of Israel, and say to them, O Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, appeared to me and said, I have watched over you and have seen what had been done to you in Egypt. And I promise to bring you out of the, your misery in Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. The elders of Israel will listen to you. Then ye, you and the elders are to go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has met with us. Let us take a three-day journey into the wilderness to offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless a mighty hand compels him. So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. After that he will let you go. And I will make the Egyptians favorably disposed toward this people, so that when you leave you will not go empty handed Every woman is to ask her neighbor and any woman living in her house for articles of silver and gold and for clothing which you will put on your sons and daughters, and so you will plunder the Egyptians. And that's verse 22 in the book of Exodus chapter 3, book of Pentateuch, or the Torah. Shalom. My deliverer is coming, my deliverer 